Hi, this is Jeff Clarkson with a quick tutorial on how to produce a conversation between two or more characters in MovieZoo using the built-in speak and shush method. Other people have developed different ways of doing this, so try them out and find out which is best for you. Here is a little scene I made with a man and a dog. The dog is standing there minding his own business and along comes the man. I wrote a script and used Audacity to record me speaking the part of the man and one of those online text-to-speech programs to produce a different voice for Rover. I combined those into one sound file for the whole conversation. First of all, we need to import the sound file into MovieZoo. So it's prepare audio, new, import, and then find wherever the audio file has been saved. There it is, man dog chat. Open, and there it is in MovieZoo. Now, we don't want to edit it at all because all that was done in Audacity before it was finally saved as a single file. When you have done that and opened up your timeline, you will find that the audio is set to begin straight away. In this scene, there is some action before the speaking starts, so we need to slide the audio along so that it starts in the correct place. Next thing is to record the lip sync in two complete passes, one for each of the characters. OK, I will do the man first. Prepare dialogue and make sure that we have the correct sound file specified in the box. When the man is speaking, I need to highlight the talk box and when the dog speaks, I will have to highlight the shush box. Now it's actually quite difficult to get the timing completely exact first time but that doesn't matter too much because it can all be adjusted afterwards in the timeline. OK, here we go. Hello, doggy. Hi, do I know you? You can talk. Yes, just like you. But you're a dog. That's correct. I am a talking cartoon dog. And you are a cartoon human. You're kidding. So I'm not real? Afraid not. Oh, that's terrible. Don't worry, my friend. Just enjoy it. You can live forever. Wow. And you can have superpowers. And you can do anything you want. Yes. Now we have to follow exactly the same procedure for the other character. We haven't done any adjustment yet. Hello, doggy. Hi, do I know you? You can talk. Yes, just like you. But you're a dog. That's correct. I am a talking cartoon dog. And you are a cartoon human. You're kidding. So I'm not real? Afraid not. Oh, that's terrible. Don't worry, my friend. Just enjoy it. You can live forever. Wow. And you can have superpowers. And you can do anything you want. Yes! With that done, we can click off Rover and open up the timeline so we can see the lip sync for both characters. Where the waveform is visible in the orange line, the character is speaking and its mouth will be moving to produce lip sync. Where it's covered, the character's mouth will be closed. I can see straight away, even before I play the audio, that there's a few mistakes where sections of dialogue overlap. Obviously I wasn't quite quick enough to switch between boxes 
with my mouse. All I need to do is just slide the end of the shaded area to clear that bit of audio. If you have any doubts you can just press play and make sure that the actual sound and movement are correct. Afraid not. Now, should you do actions first or speech first? You can do either, except that when you are making the sound file, you don't always know how long the action will take. I wanted the man to punch the air as he says yes, so I will pop that action in now. Yes! A little adjustment required. Yes! Then of course it's go to make video and your action and your sound will be all in that final video file. Thanks for watching. Any further questions, post them in the Anizu forum.